What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Mr. Pretty Tony, I mean, you know the rules of the game. I mean, your bitch just chose me. Now, we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. So listen, guys. Okay. Not all questions are stupid questions, especially when it comes to trucking. I mean, when I started... I mean, I was asking question after question, and I wasn't even sure if it was a good question. But I mean, if you honestly don't know, that's what you're going to do. You're going to come and ask the questions. Now, see, when you ask the questions, it depends on who the question is going to resonate with to come back with a sort of good answer for you now when it comes to facebook it is what it is i mean you can you can honestly ask a good question and get like 10 20 or thousands of different crazy ass answers or you can even ask a bad question and get maybe one or two good answers you know like i said it is what it is with facebook i mean i mean some of the people i i i don't know what's beyond these people's minds though. for real for real i mean this is a good question I, I gotta give it to you i mean not that many people come in this industry you know that knowing what to do i mean this is trucking man come on you ain't gonna you, you're not gonna master the art of trucking within a couple of days of you getting your cdl you just not just like you're not going to master the art of being an artist when you start to pick up a mic when you start to pick up a pen when you start to pick up a pair of scissors you know it all takes practice and within that practice you got to you know ask questions sometimes you reach out to your favorite artist somebody that inspired you to get into this business and you kind of hoping that that artist would will reciprocate and give you the answers that you're looking for but you got to understand people that been in the business of trucking for a long time some of them reserves they they stuff you know old school drivers is just not going to come out and and give you the, the the juice that you need to get started some of them will some of them won't some of them will some of them would lead you down the path of righteousness and then there's some that'll lead you down the path of nowhere because they feel that if they give you the juice, then that means you coming in taking what was, you know, what's theirs, you know? That's why a lot of us trucker YouTubers back in the day, we used to collab. We used to collab a lot, you know? We used to have a, 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 a favorite. You know, you doing videos and all like that about trucking. Here I come. I'm doing videos all about trucking. Let's let's come together and be great at it. It's not the case anymore. And like I said before, you know, all questions are not, you know, are not dumb questions or stupid questions. So I would like to answer or or talk about what you have i mean what you asking and uh and and the question is because i'm going to be blunt i'm going to take keys from different people in the comment session because you know you got to swim through the comment session to get a good definitive answer or a good definitive comment about the question so that's what i'm going to do right now 
So thank you very much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Have a seat and listen to what Lockout Man has to say. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Coming from the Facebook group. All right. I know I'm going to get a lot of stupid answers and that's fine. But I would like to know if you have any advice for a new driver such as myself, how do you build confidence to drive at night? Well, I, I, I tell you, because like I said, I'm going to take cues from, you know, different people that's that that commented on this post. My cue is this, you know, confidence is what you build regardless of if you're driving at night or driving during the day. If you need to build up your confidence to be able to drive at night, then I don't think, you know, I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready because you're going to have to drive at night no matter what this is trucking gonna have to drive at night gonna have to drive in the snow gonna have to drive in wind well gonna have to drive slow in wind you're gonna have to drive mountains you're gonna have to drive sun you're gonna have to drive in the rain and you have to have confidence in yourself to do so but if you don't have confidence in yourself then sir ma'am you're not ready you're not ready to be behind the semi from the moment you get behind a wheel you need to be confident you need to be confident that you can operate the vehicle and feel comfortable doing so in all conditions that i just mentioned no matter Again, of all the conditions that I just mentioned. I know I just repeated myself. Sounds good, don't it? Bad weather, night driving. You have to be comfortable and confident to drive that vehicle in all those situations before you start driving at all. Because bad situations can arrive anytime anywhere day or night whether it's raining at night or beautiful during the day if you don't have the confidence to drive then you don't need to be driving at least not a semi truck and especially if you don't have the confidence to drive at night then you shouldn't be driving period i know you need to get some practice we all do i think if you're with your trainer if you're a new driver and you with your trainer maybe that's something you and your trainer can go over and your trainer can help strengthen your confidence to drive at night driving in certain areas like big cities with tight turns can be scary things to think about right if that's the case if you're not confident to drive again like i said before don't get behind the wheel but if you are driving and if you are building your confidence and you don't want to drive in areas such as bit cities with tight turns like new york <laughs> then try to avoid it but again, this is trucking. So a lot of stuff you're not going to be at, be able to avoid while you, especially in the beginning, you're not going to be able to avoid the drive in the Northeast because you are, you're not going to be able to avoid the drive in Miami because you are, you're not going to avoid the drive in California because you are, you know, maybe you, when you get the experience and the time in, then you can set your goals in areas where you do want to drive and where you want to avoid but but get some practice 
okay get some practice because driving at night isn't something that you need extra practice to do though i know it takes a lot of confidence to drive and that's not something you will want to do when you're new but night driving is something that you need to be confident in doing from the beginning because if you are afraid to drive at night then chances are it wouldn't take much for you to get scared and lose control during regular daytime operations because you can't always count on it to be a perfect day for driving no matter what time of day it is keep all that in mind so you really shouldn't be driving at all if you aren't confident in your ability to drive in all conditions including night driving you don't have to be an expert on day one but you do have to be confident that you are in control of an 80,000 pound killing machine. So I hope that resonates with, with, with some new drivers out there because I'm lockout man and I'm your new driver advocate. I am here for you trying to come up with plausible information for you guys so that if you do have any questions you know you can come to the recruiter call channel for the answers sometimes who, who is that dj like